Hi, I'm Kim and welcome to my space. I am so glad that you are choosing to be here with me for this moment in time. This is a spoken word poem about my first year of college. My first year of college, I decided to walk away from my faith. It was as if I lived in a world without God. I acted like I never voiced the 50-fold Hail Marys alongside my grandmother, my fingers fiddling with each bead on the rosary. I acted like the verses underlined in my Bible never echoed in my mind from time to time. I acted like the countless prayers held by the four walls of my bedroom were never spoken. And instead of finding solace and scribbling the most intimate prayers on my heart, I rolled out a sleeping bag to lay under the darkness of all of my miseries. Instead of surrendering all of my problems to the most high, I bundled all of my life's problems into a keepsake box clung them close, gripping onto all of the memories that replayed consistently. Facing microaggressions for the first time. Add some weight into your keepsake box, label it my first year. Feeling like you're not good enough in any of your classes, add more weight in. Not knowing what to major in, what to do for the next four years of your life, add more weight in. Family member fell ill in the hospital and you didn't expect it? Let's add more weight to your keepsake box. Failed your first class ever, add more weight in. Carried the scars of sexual assault, add more weight in. Feeling like you're having an identity crisis and you can't even recognize yourself in the mirror anymore, add more weight in. And all of a sudden, this box is way too heavy, even if you try to kick it around, so I just let it sit. I let this keepsake box sit. And I ask a friend to come over, tell them about my keepsake box that I labeled my first year of college, and the box is carrying more than it should be. So I ask another friend to hold on to the parts of it that are breaking down. And when it becomes too much for all three of us to hold, we start to loosen up the box. And I want their help to carry it. And I want their help to unpack it. And I want their help to reveal light, to reveal truth. And so I consult everyone about this keepsake box. I consult everyone but God. But God. But God. But God still made sure I was surrounded by a community of people who cared. But God anticipated my late night murmurs and tears and whispers. But God understood the weight of the pain and hurt that I carried, that I held close in my keepsake box. And I'm still learning who this God is, and I'm still learning to find my peace and security in Him, and I'm still learning how to consult Him, how to include Him, how to worship Him, how to surrender everything in my keepsake box to him. If, if you're starting to think about your own keepsake box and all of the things that you're carrying, are you ready to surrender it to?